campanology is the study of bells. It encompasses the technology of bells, how they are cast, tuned and sounded, as well as the history, methods, and traditions of bell ringing as an art. It is common to collect together a set of tuned bells and treat the whole as one musical instrument. Such collections, such as a Flemish carillon, a Russian Z von, or an English ring of bells, used for change ringing, have their own practices and challenges, and campanology is likewise the study of perfecting such instruments and composing and performing music for them. In this sense, however, the word campanology is most often used in reference to relatively large bells, often hung in a tower. It is not usually applied to assemblages of smaller bells, such as a glockenspiel, a collection of tubular bells, or an Indonesian gamelan. Shape and tuning. A bell is divided into the body or barrel, the ear or cannon, and the clapper or tongue. The lip or sound bow is that part where the bell is struck by the clapper, the traditional profile, hollow cup with wide flaring lip. Of a bell is determined by the acoustic properties sought. According to Fuller Maitland writing in Grove's Dictionary of Music and Musicians, good tone means that a bell must be in tune with itself. A bell is generally considered well-tuned if it corresponds to certain standards regarding its partials and thus proportions. These partials or elements of the sound of a bell are split up into hum, strike tone, tears, quint, and nominal. Further notes include the major third and perfect fifth in the second octave. Whether a founder tunes the nominal or the strike note makes little difference, however, because the nominal is one of the main partials that determines the tuning of the strike note, a heavy clapper brings out lower partials, while a higher clapper velocity strengthens higher partials. The relative depth of the bowl, or cup, part of the bell also determines the number and strength of the partials in order to achieve a desired timber. Bells are generally around 80% copper and 20% tin, with the tone varying according to material. Tone and pitch is also affected by the method in which a bell is struck. It will be noticed that Asian large bells are often bowl-shaped but lack the lip and are often not free-swinging. Also note the special shape of Bianjong bells, allowing two tones. The scaling or size of most bells to each other may be approximated by the equation for circular cylinders. F equals CH, D2, where H is thickness, D is diameter, and C is a constant determined by the material and the profile. Previously tuned through chipping, bells are now tuned after casting with vertical lathes by paring out the inside to flat on or edge to sharpen, with sharpening best being avoided. On the theory that pieces in major keys may better be accommodated, after many unsatisfactory attempts in the 1980s, using computer modeling for assistance in design by scientists at the Technical University in Eindhoven. Bells with a major third profile were created by the Eisbouts Bell Foundry in the Netherlands, being described as resembling old Coke bottles in that they have a bulge around the middle, and in 1999 a design without the bulge was announced. Carillons The carillon is a complex instrument that has been studied and minutely improved for highest musical quality. It draws both tourists and locals to the concerts and recitals. Professional campanologists like Belgian Jeff Denine still have world fame. The instrument is played sitting on a bench by hitting the top keyboard that allows expression through variation of touch, with the underside of the half-clenched fists and the bottom keyboard with the feet. Since the lower notes in particular require more physical strength than an organ, the latter not attaining the tonal range of the better carillons, for some of these, the bell producing the lowest tone, the borden, may weigh well over 8 tons. Other fine bells settle for 5 to 6 tons. A carillon renders at least two octaves for which it needs 23 bells, though the finest have 47 to 56 bells or extravagantly even more. Arranged in chromatic sequence, so tuned as to produce concordant harmony when many bells are sounded together. The oldest are found in church towers in continental northern Europe, especially in cathedral towers in Belgium and present-day northern France. 
where some became UNESCO World Heritage Sites, classified with the Belfry of Bruges and its municipal Carillon under Belfries of Belgium in France, the Carillon of Kirk in the Hills, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, United States, along with the one at Haichon College in Daejeon, South Korea have the highest number of bells in the world, 77. Modern large, carillon edifices have been erected as standalone instruments across the world, for instance the Netherlands carillon at Arlington National Cemetery. The carillon in the Church of St. Peter, Abu Dhabi, Gwyneth, Wales is often used to play the famous bells of Abu Dhabi, tune, chimes. A carillon-like instrument with fewer than 23 bells is called a chime. American chimes usually have one to one and a half diatonic octaves. Many chimes play an automated piece of music. Chime bells generally use to lack dynamic variation and inner tuning, or the mathematical balance of a bell's complex sound, to permit use of harmony. Since the 20th century, in Belgium and the Netherlands, clock chime bells have inner tuning and produce complex fully harmonized music. These chimes should not be confused with another musical instrument also called chimes nor with a wind chime. Russian Orthodox Bells The bells in Russian tradition are sounded by their clappers. Attached to ropes, a special system of ropes is developed individually for every bell tower. All the ropes are gathered in one place, where the bell ringer stands. The ropes are not pulled, but rather pressed with hands or legs. Since one end of every rope is fixed, and the ropes are kept in tension, a press or even a punch on a rope makes a clapper move. The Russian Tsar bell is the largest extant bell in the world. Change ringing. In English style full circle ringing the bells in a church tower are hung so that on each stroke the bell swings through a complete circle. Between strokes, it sits poised, upside down, with the mouth pointed upwards. Pulling on a rope connected to the bell swings it down and its own momentum swings it back up again on the other side. These rings of bells have relatively few bells, compared with a carillon, six or eight bell towers are common, with the largest rings in numbering up to 16 bells. The bells are usually tuned to fall in a diatonic scale without chromatic notes. They are traditionally numbered from the top downwards so that the highest bell is numbered 1 and the lowest bell has the highest number. It is usually the tonic note of the bell's scale. To swing the heavy bells requires a ringer for each bell. Furthermore, the great inertias involved mean that the ringers have only a limited ability to retard or accelerate their bells cycle, along with the relatively limited palette of notes available. The upshot is that such rings of bells do not easily lend themselves to ringing melodies. Instead, a system of change ringing evolved, probably early in the 17th century, which centers on mathematical permutations. The ringers begin with rounds, which is simply ringing down the scale in order. The ringing then proceeds in a series of rows or changes, each of which is some permutation of rounds where no belt changes by more than one position from the preceding row. In call change ringing, one of the ringers calls out to tell the other ringers how to vary their order from row to row. Some ringers practice call changes exclusively, but for others, the essence of change ringing is method ringing. Method ringing in method or scientific ringing Each ringer has memorized a pattern describing his or her bell's course from row to row, taken together. These patterns form an algorithm which cycles through the various available permutations. Serious ringing always starts and ends with rounds, and it must always be true. Each row must be unique, never repeated. A performance of a few hundred rows or so is called a touch. A performance of all the possible permutations possible on a set of bells is called an extent. With bells there are possible permutations. With five bells, five equals 120, which takes about five minutes. With seven bells, seven equals 5,040 which takes about three hours to ring. This is the definition of a full peel. Less demanding is the quarter peel of 1,260 changes. When ringing peels and quarter peels on fewer bells several complete extents are rung consecutively. 
when ringing on higher numbers of bells less than a complete extent is rung. On eight bells, the extent is 8 equals 40,320, which has only been accomplished once, taking nearly 19 hours. Ringing in English bell towers became a popular hobby in the late 17th century. In the Restoration Era, the scientific approach which led to modern method ringing can be traced to two books of that era, Tintinalogia or The Art of Ringing and Campanalogia. Today change ringing remains most popular in England but is practiced worldwide, over 4,000 peals are rung each year. Dorothy Sayers's mystery story, The Nine Tailors, centers around change ringing of bells in a Fenland church. Numbers as of 30 September 2015, update, there are 7,140 English-style rings. The Netherlands, Pakistan, India, and Spain have one each. The Windward Isles and the Isle of Man have two each. Canada and New Zealand eight each. The Channel Isles 10. Africa as a continent has 13. Scotland 24, Ireland 37, USA 48, Australia 59 and Wales 227. The remaining 6,798 are in England. Gamelan, perhaps the best known example from outside Europe of an organized system of bells is the Gamelan, an Indonesian orchestra-like ensemble in which a prominent part is played by a variety of tuned bells, gongs and metallophones. Other types of ringing. The ancient ringing system from Bologna, Italy. Handbell ringing. You can play methods or songs on handbells, commonly used to sing Christmas carols to sales. Some sales companies ring a bell to celebrate reaching a sales quota. Carillon. Bell chiming. Braid theory. The maths of change ringing. Veronese bell ringing art from Verona, Italy. Bell organizations. The following organizations promote the study, music, collection and or preservation and restoration of bells. Nation covered are given in parenthesis. The American Bell Association International. Association Campanaire Wallon ASBL. Association Suonatori di Campana System of Uranese. The Australian and New Zealand Association of Bell Ringers. Beritung Source Chus für das Deutsche Glockenwesen, British Carillon Society, the Central Council of Church Bell Ringers, Handbell Musicians of America, Handbell Ringers of Great Britain, Societe Francaise de Campanologie, Verband Deutsche Glockengisrioni, V. World, Carillon Federation, Bibliography, The Ringing World, Dove's Guide for Church Bell Ringers. Duckworth, Richard and Stedman, Fabian, 1668, Tintandalogia, or, The Art of Ringing, 1st ed., reprinted, Bath, Kingsmead Reprints, ISBN 0-9015714-5, Ingram, Tom Bells of England, London, F. Muller, Stedman, 1677, Campanalogia, or The Art of Ringing Improved Facsimile of 1st Ed. Kettering, C. Groom, ISBN 1-85580-001-2, Walters, B. Church Bells, London, Mowbray, Wilson, Wilfred G. Change Ringing, The Art and Science of Change Ringing on Church and Hand Bells, London, Faber.